Uh, hi everyone, uh, and welcome back to this series of uh, circuit practice problems. And we have here second question about civilian and northern equivalent. In the previous example, the uh, R or the load resistance was given at a specific value, and you are asked to find the voltages or currents across this resistance using the equivalent uh, uh, theorem. Now, this question is a bit different. Here we have a variable resistance, so its value is not given to you. And you are basically asked to find what is the value of this R0 or R load that will result in maximum power transfer from the energy sources to, to that load resistance. And this is one of the applications of the Thevenin equivalent circuit because the value of this resistance that satisfy this condition of maximum power transfer when its value is equal to R Thevenin, the Thevenin equivalent of your, of your circuit. So how to approach this problem? Uh, basically here you have a circuit with dependent sources and independent source. We remove R zero and we replace it here first with an open, with an open circuit. And we want to find this open circuit voltage. Then later on, we'll find the short circuit. V open circuit by I short circuit is your R, R7. So let's start here by analyzing this circuit after removing the load resistance. So I will use node. So here, this is V equal to zero. This node has a known voltage, which is 60 volt. This node has unknown voltage V1. And this is basically UV open circuit. So basically you have two nodes that you will apply KCL to. So we'll apply KCL at V open circuit. So assume the currents here are leaving. This current you cannot touch. So it has to be as the same direction as it was given because this is a current source. So we have V open circuit minus V1 divided by four plus this current is 2v delta equal to zero but we know that what is this v delta this is the dependent variable of this dependent current source which is basically the both potential difference between this point and this point so your v delta is equal to 60 minus v1 so now i will come here and substitute so it is V open circuit minus V1 divided by 4 plus 2 times 60 minus V1 equal to 0. Okay, now let's simplify the equation. Multiply everything times 4. So we have V open circuit minus V1 plus 8 times 60 minus V1 equal to 0. So here, V open circuit here, we have uh, V open circuit minus V1 minus, so this is minus nine V1 is equal to eight times 60 is 480, take to the other side, minus 480. And this is my first equation. Okay, now let's apply KCL. So this is again, this is your V equal to zero. This is your 60 volt. This is your V1 and V open circuit. Now we'll apply KCL at V1. So this will be V1 minus 60 divided by two, which is this current. Assume the current here and there. Uh, this is, has nothing to do with this IB. So V1 minus 60 over two plus V1 minus 4IB divided by 5 ohm. Remember, this is a voltage source. It depends on a current, but it's still a voltage source. Similarly, this is a current source, but it depends on a voltage uh, on a voltage in the circuit. Plus V1 minus V open circuit divided by 4, and this is equal to 0. Let me multiply everything times 20 so we'll have here 10 v1 minus 60 plus 4 v1 minus 4 ib 
plus 5 V1 minus V open circuit is equal to 0. So we'll have 10 V1, 4, and 5. So this is 19 V1. And we have minus 5 open circuit, V open circuit, minus 600. And finally, minus 4 I B. 4 times 4, sorry, this is 16. 16 I B equal to 0. 4 times 4. Now, what is IB? Because I want to get rid of IB. Your IB, so what is your IB? Is This is the current. So it's V1 minus V open circuit divided by 4. So IB is equal to V1 minus V open circuit divided by, by 4. Then we will substitute. So we'll take this value here and substitute it there. So 19 V1 minus 5 V open circuit minus 600 minus 16 times V1 minus V open circuit divide by 4 equal to 0. This will cancel. This becomes equal to 4. So we will have 19 V1 minus 4 V1. So this becomes equal to 15 V1 minus uh, v uh, this is minus 5 open uh, v open circuit plus so minus 4 v open circuit so this becomes minus v open circuit is equal to 600 and this is my second equation so this is my second equation this is my first equation if i add these two equations so add 1 plus 2 then the v open circuit will be eliminated so we basically we will have 6 V1 is equal to 120, so your V1 is equal to 20, 20 volt. Okay, now we can substitute in any of the equations, either this equation or the other equation. So we can substitute, substitute in 2. So here we'll have V open circuit is equal to 15 V1 minus 600. And this will give me minus 300 volt. So that is the open circuit voltage, which is basically the V tibinum. Okay, now let's go and find I short circuit. So basically here, we short circuit that the same two terminals to find our short circuit. So this is my ground here, V equal to zero. So all of this is one node. This is my V1 and this is my V, uh, the voltage node that had the 60 volt. Now, this V1 has nothing to do with this V1 because these are two different circuits. Never ever mix this circuit with that circuit. Never borrow any of these values in this circuit because they are totally two different circuits. So KCL at V1. So we have V1 minus 60 divided by 2 plus V1 minus 4IB divided by 5 plus, now the voltage here is 0, so V1 minus 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Multiply everything times 20. So we'll have 10 V1 minus 60 plus 4 V1 minus 4 IB plus 5 V1 is equal to 0. Again, 10, 4, and 5. This is 19 V1 minus 600. And this is minus 16 IB is equal to 0. Again, what is IB? But your IB is equal to V1 minus zero divided by, by four. So we'll come here and uh, basically substitute. So we'll take this value and substitute it here. Then you will have 19 V1 minus 16 V1 over four. This will cancel and this is equal to 600. Then 15 V1 is equal to uh, basically 600 
then your V1 is equal to 40 volt. So that is your V1. Now I want to up find I short circuit. So we apply KCL to this node. We call it node one. So KCL at one. So this current is entering. So V1 divided by four. This current is leaving plus two V delta plus this is sort of equal. So V1 over four, this current is equal to two V delta plus I short circuit. Okay, so V1 is 40 divided by four equal to two V delta. This is your V delta, which is 60 minus V1, which is 40. Okay, and uh, this is plus I short circuit. So this will give you 10 minus, this is 20, so minus 40 equal to I short circuit. Then your I short circuit equal to minus 30 amp. So the V open circuit minus 300, the I short circuit is minus, R, uh, minus 30. So your R thevenin is basically equal to V open circuit divided by I short circuit, which is equal to minus 300 divided by minus 30, which is equal to 10 ohm. Always R has to be a positive value, cannot be a negative value. And what is your B max? B max is equal to V thevenin square divided by 4r thevenin so this is equal to minus 300 square divided by 4 times 10 and this will give me 2250 watt so this is a second way of asking the thevenin equivalent i didn't ask you here to use the thevenin equivalent at all in the question all I ask you is to find what is the value of the resistance for maximum power transfer. This is an indirect way that I'm asking you to find R thevenin and equate it with this with this load uh, resistance.